Festival Anaganish Summer Theater and 98.9 XFM welcome you to Wednesday Nights at the Theater. Tonight's show is a recorded adaptation of our original outdoor play, Robin Hood, The Great Escape, written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale and performed at Kepic Mountain. Sound design is by Justin Gregg. You might think you know the story of Robin Hood, but history doesn't always tell the truth. Here's the real story. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. Join us in Sherwood Forest, join us for today, and sing the song of our family in this enchanted play, where the outsiders are the insiders, and the insiders are the outliers, and the outliers know the truth about our Robin Hood. La 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 la. Tuck and Will and Joan and Midge and Robin Hood And Mary and A merry band together and our home's the secret wood Outlawed and outcast were bandits and crooks We live on the margins, we're not found in history books Fa la 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 We belong to each other and each other to ourselves and we fight for each other against the sheriff and his wolves. And we risk for each other and we love one another and we laugh with each other and we die for each other and we kill for each other and each other for ourselves. Fa la 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 la. Robin Hood is a master of terror, he's a heathen, a traitor, he's cursed. I'm the sheriff of Nottingham, I promise justice will be dispersed. The merry men are a gang of marauders Don't be fooled by their charm or their wit But we will keep you safe The Robin will submit Ha la 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 Will the song of our family be the one that will prevail? Or will history rewrite us with a more convenient tale? Will the future be a place where all love can be released? Is Robin sure about this? Of course he's sure it's a terrible idea. Will Scarlet, do you still doubt me after all these years? Robin, we know that you can win the archery contest. We know that. But there are two types of enthusiasm. One that leads to misfortune and one that leads to success. Which is this? Uh, the fun kind? Don't let them poop on your parade, Robin. You could win this contest with both enthusiasms tied behind your back. Winning is hardly the issue here, Little Joan. There's a price on every one of our heads. I know. We're worth 40 gold pieces each, dead or alive. 40 for you, Alana Dale. 100 for me. Will you get that bounty up to a thousand gold pieces each? And I'll write us a ballad that will make us both legends. Even as a solid rock is unshaken by the wind, so are the wise unshaken by praise or blame. Mm. See, Robin, even Friar Tuck thinks you should enter the contest. That's not what I said. He loves the idea. Robin never gets caught. Midge, you of all people shouldn't be encouraging him. You've seen the inside of the sheriff's jail. And I keep seeing the outside of it, because you keep breaking me out, you nasty crook. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the ballad will write itself. Sweetman should say Robin couldn't lose, but greasy old Will said to handsome young Bram. <laughs> now why is Bram young and handsome and I am old and greasy? Because Bram, that beautiful boy, is making his magical mead for tonight's victory feast! <laughs> she called me sweet. Now that's an insult. And the chorus will be... Robin won the arrow with the golden head. He ran into the woods and took his love to bed. He ran into the woods and took his love to bed. He ran into the woods and he took his love to bed. Quiet. He ran into the woods and he took his love to bed. Quiet. Someone's coming. I told you the sheriff has spies everywhere. Pies. I love pies. Spies. You cretin. Spies. Juicy crickets, be quiet. Freeze, outlaws. It is I, the sheriff of Snottingham. Marion. Quiet. Marion. 
Oh, oh Marion, my Bria, how did you convince your father to let you come to the fair? I was invited by the sheriff, and father would never say no to the sheriff. Marion, thank goodness you're here. Robin still insists on participating in this foolish contest. Well, what does Tuck say? I've been saying more forethought and less hotshot, but I'll need to consult the I Ching. Oh, good. Marion, would you kindly tell this wanted outlaw not to make a spectacle of himself at this very public archery contest? Marion, would you kindly remind Will Scarlet that disguises and archery are my thing? And Marion, would you kindly remind Will Scarlet to stop bossing Robin around? And I know it was Alana what stole my boiled egg. Marion, would you please tell little Joan that she smells like a boiled egg? The one that... Midge stole. <gasps> what? Marion, would you tell Alana that her lute is out of tune and that egg was delicious? <laughs> <laughs> mm, very interesting. What does it say? It says number four, Meng, youthful folly. Even the foolish can attain wisdom by modestly following the sage. Well, he's foolish, that's for sure, but Robin has never been modest. He's jeopardizing everything we fought for just so he can show off. Oh, don't worry, my friend, my Sathi. You and Bram are safe. Now that Marion is here, I can't lose. Will, that golden arrow would buy a lot of food for a lot of hungry people. Okay, okay, fine. Just don't get caught. I won't, but if I do, we'll revert to Operation Slippery Weasel. Run away and come back later. Now shut your boiled egg holes. They're coming. Robin, get this costume on. Merry men, cover the perimeter. Here, let me get you dressed. That's not what you said last night. <laughs> I heard you fall when you were climbing out my window this morning. I don't know how much more that vine can take. I don't know how much more I can take. All this hiding and sneaking. We keep hoping that the king will give you all a royal pardon, but he's not even in England. What if there was another way? Such as? Uh, that prized arrow is worth a lot of money. It is. And it would be mine, fair and square. It would. Two people could start a whole new life with that kind of money. They could? Far away, from where the sheriff couldn't find them. Only if one of them, the prettier one, the smarter one, was willing to leave her father's land and money behind. Hmm. Leave my father and my fabulous wealth to follow a poor mangy bandit into the woods? What, you don't like the woods? I like the woods. Well, then we'll live in the woods, Mary Bria. Yes! Here comes the sheriff. Hide yourselves. Oh, a lovely day for an archery. Archery today? Oh, I didn't do that. Quiet, peasants. The Sheriff of Nottingham speaks. Greetings, loyal country folk, and welcome to the Nottingham Archery Contest. Yeah. Ooh, archery, we like this year we've upped the ante. The prize will be this golden arrow forged by the dwarves of Dorket Head, and the winner will be named the sharpest shooter in the land. Dare I say, even better than Robin Hood, who, as you can see, is not here. Is he a coward? Is he a chicken? You decide. The contest will be judged by me and my advisor, steward, scribe, accountant, fire chief, head guard, and executioner, Gal of Gisborne. Uh, who, who is that? Oh, look, it's Maid Marion. Maid Marion, come on up here. Woo! Isn't she beautiful? Woo! I think your father would be tickled if you would present the winner with this golden arrow and perhaps sweeten the pot with a kiss for the champion. What do you think, audience? Oh, oh yeah, smoochy smooch. That will bring the archers out of the woods. Gisborne, send up the first competitor. Oh, goody. You, come on. Name? Mabel. Profession? Spinster. A spinster, like our maid Marion. I spin wool, my lord. Wool? For knitting? A noble profession either way. Go. Draw. Whoa. Oh, oh drat. Right. I miscalculated. My cock feather was too short. It's not the length of the cock feather. It's how you position it. Next. Name? I'm Joe the Butcher. Profession? Blacksmith. What? Hmm. Draw. Oh! 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 Oh!
job, Joe the Butcher, the blacksmith. Come closer. Let me see this fine English archer. Aha! Everything all right, my lord? Yes. Good shot. Anyone else? Anyone who can do better than this perfect no bullseye? No. Anyone? I'll give it a try. You, old man? Name? Uh, Earl Everett Burt. Oh. Earl E. Burt. He's going to get us all killed. He said bird. Get it? He's a robin. <laughs> I'm ready. Just point me at the target. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, oh! oh. Ah, there it is. He split the arrow. Did I get it? Yes, yes, you did. Sheriff, we have found the best archer in Nottingham. Step forward early, Bert. Claim your well-deserved prize. Now, I know there are folks that say that you're uncaring and cruel and petty and mean and violent and vicious and stupid and stingy and selfish and just plain ugly, but I think you're a true hero. How very kind. The opinion of a lowly, scabby poultry farmer means the world to me. It really does. You know whose opinion means nothing to me? Who's that, sire? Robin Hood. Guard sees him. Robin Hood, I arrest you for the following crimes against the Crown. Poaching, theft, assault, murder, and treason. I have here a warrant that clearly lays out these charges and says that Robin Hood is guilty. The punishment is death by hanging. It's a trap! Merry men, slippery weasel, slippery weasel! Weasel? Let me out! No, let me out! Don't Will, run let into me the Robin Hood, best archer in all of Nottingham. <coughs> Merry men, what do you think of your great leader now? Don't kill him, please. Kill him? Of course I'm not going to kill him. I'm an officer of the law. I'm going to execute him. I believe in justice. That's not justice. Let Robin go. If it were up to me, I would. But this warrant, it's written right here on real paper. Let him go. Oh, I wish I could, but it says execute. Unless... King Richard did say he wished I had more land and a wife to give me sons to inherit this noble station. Now my neighbor has a whack of land and a beautiful daughter. We could kill two birds with one stone. Sire, what are you doing? I would never marry you. Maid Marian, the execution is one week from tonight. If you say yes to my proposal before the noose snaps his neck, I'll spare his life. Simple, merciful, and just. Don't trust him, Marian. He's a liar. No. Forget it. Maybe you'll change your mind, Marion. A week in a cage is a long time for a robin. Guards, take him away. <coughs> Listen up, merry men. If you are caught trying to release him, Gisborne will slit your throats on the spot. You see, I will stop at nothing to protect you, the citizens of Nottingham, from these violent offenders. All right, citizens. Don't you dare go try to rescue Robin Hood. Stay where you are. And I'll see you next week at the execution, wearing smiles. This episode of the outdoor play Robin Hood The Great Escape was written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale. Robin Hood features the voices of professional and community actors. Our professional actors in this episode were Karen Bassett as Midge, Kevin Curran as the Sheriff, Matt Lacoe as Robin Hood, Rachel Lloyd as Marion, James McLean as Will Scarlet, Noella Murphy as Alana Dale, Laura Teasdale as Lil Joan, Naomi Vogt as Gal of Gisborne, and Aquila Wibisono as Tuck. Our community cast in this episode were Brianna Lynch, Christine Barker, Oliver Long, and Rob Hall. Our featured unsung hero this week is Ingrid Risk, our production manager. Sound design was by Justin Gregg and direction by Andrea Boyd. This project is made possible through the support of Canada Council for the Arts and our presenting sponsors, McLeod Group and Atlantic Windows. To catch up on past episodes and to donate to Festival Enneganish, go to festivalenneganish.com. And if you enjoyed this, please spread the word on social media. Tune in next week for the continuing saga of Robin Hood, The Great Escape.